Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Ads. I'm Joey. And I'm Tim. And I want to start out by thanking our financial supporters, uh, PayPal and Patreon, for supporting us uh, with the show. If you've ever thought about, I want to be part of this, how can I help, how can I be part of this, that's how you can help. There's a link below this video on how you can uh, join. Uh, our, our finance supporters get some private videos that we don't show here, uh, just kind of un unpublished stuff, right? And uh, they, you know, they enable us to get the plant-based message out to the public. So yeah. that's how you can help right there. Um, I do, go ahead. Um, I want to say thank you for all the people who have been interacting or leaving comments. Yes. That's huge. Um, just if we're modifying something or how it's helped you, that just encourages us to go on. Uh, so that's, that's always good. And, and being a financial supporter with that helps because they get the videos 48 hours ahead of time. So when you're like the, one of you know, 20 people that are getting the video and you make a comment, yes. I see it. It's just me and you comment, yes, right? Yes. Versus when the video hits on Tuesday mornings and now there's hundreds of comments and I'm at work and I'm like, uh, I can't get to this. Yeah, right? for sure. And then we have a lot of people who are asking to join uh, Chronometer, just to have access to the web, uh, the, the macros, the macros, yeah. uh, as well as, you know, we have the blog channel that has the, the printouts with the macros as well. But. Yeah, so, I mean, there's all that available to you, but thank you for our financial supporters. I want to thank uh, Earthchimp for sponsoring this video. We I'm going to tell you why we have empty bags of protein mix in a minute here. Uh, but if you didn't know this, uh, I did this on a, uh, I mean, did you, you haven't tried this yet, right? But Earth Gym sent me, they have a new oh, flavor coming out, the strawberry. I think it's my favorite. Yeah. So they wanted me to do a first taste video. I had already, like the moment I got it, I made a protein shake, drank it, and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And then they're like, oh, by the way, like do a video where you're opening up a taste and I was like, too late, it's already open. Like, yeah. <laughs> if you, you know, strawberry is one of the, the lower sugar fruits, yes, right? Yeah. So it's something that we already do with the vanilla. Yeah. So when the strawberry came out, it did taste fake. Uh, the the strawberries only enhanced it. It's really delicious. I right? absolutely love the strawberry. I don't think it's on the website. You can't buy it yet. They just sent it to their ambassadors, but I'm enjoying it. Okay. It's an amazing flavor. Uh, we ha we're not using it in the recipes today because I want the recipes to be usable by everyone and you can't buy the strawberry. Exactly. So. so that leads into what we're doing today and that's... Five amazing smoothies. Yes. One of the things, uh, and thank you again, Earth Chimp, for this. Yeah. One of the reasons we're chimply lucky this month is because not only is it St. Patty's Day, right? Uh, I am big order, uh, but uh, you, but we get to to have amazing smoothies, uh, amazing protein shakes with different flavors, not just vanilla, not just chocolate. Those are some of the bases, but yeah. we we have so many fun recipes that we absolutely love. And, you know, I think that it's a good time to share them since a lot of people are, that are following us are now making protein shakes again, right? So we're going to, today, we're going to show you five of our favorite smoothies. Yeah, the right? very first one being a sort of St. Patty's Day. It's a good green smoothie good green for St. Patty's Day, uh, just to show you how chimply lucky you are. Uh, <laughs> you know, Patty's Day is coming up, but that green smoothie is, is it's a green smoothie. Yeah. Really, you could have it all year long and it's meant to, to give you some help, right? Yeah, I think St. Patty's Day is about camaraderie. Uh, if you if it, you really love that shake, then share it with someone. Yeah, I absolutely agree. All right, so five okay. amazing smoothies. Wait till you see the flavors. You're absolutely gonna love them. Let's get to yeah. the shakes. All right, lads and lassies, top of the morning to you. Aaron go our, our first protein smoothie we're kicking off here is a Good Greens protein shake in spirit of St. Patty's Day. I am big order. This one comes in at 374 calories with 31 grams of protein and 12 grams of fat. We're starting off with our blender here. We're using the Beast Blender. And to get started, we're gonna add 240 milliliters of, we're using pea milk, right? Yes, in this case specifically, Ripple. 100 grams of frozen mango. Now it's time for some avocado, healthy fats. 35 grams, 91 grams of green apple with skin. I had a small, so it's almost the whole thing, but if you had a medium, it's probably about half of it. I have spinach, it's one cup. It's actually 30 grams if you want to measure it out. One cup can be kind of vague. Five grams of sweetener, teaspoon of fresh ginger, and one teaspoon of moringa powder. Two scoops of vanilla protein powder, Earth Chimp. And you can use our discount code below to get 10% off on your order of Earth Chimp, and if you spend over $45, you get free shipping. All right, we're just gonna put the cover on and get it to the blender. All right, then some festive greed beads are always the answer. Let's get our smoothie poured and see what we have. Oh yeah, this reminds me of uh, St. Patty's Day all the way. Look at this beauty right here. Let's put in a straw and give it a taste. 
Oh, it's delicious. Yes. Absolutely marvelous. We love it, and so will you. So, Tim, there it is, right? Our good greens protein shake. Yes, top of the morning. Top of the morning. I think that's an English thing, right? That's not St. Patty. No, it's St. Patty. Is it really? It's All right. What do we do? <laughs> Next, it's time for our PB&J protein shake. One of our favorites if you like peanut butter and jelly. This shake comes in at 372 calories with 40.2 grams of protein and 10 grams of fat. We're starting off with one cup of pea milk. You can use any type of plant milk. Next, we're putting in 70 grams of frozen strawberries. After that, we're adding 120 grams of frozen raspberries. After that, we're putting in three tablespoons of PB2 or PB Fit. I like to reconstitute it first before I put it into the, into the protein shake. A lot of people just throw the powder in. I don't think that gives you the full flavor, so I'm reconstituting it first, but you do you, boo. Next, we've got two scoops of Earth Chimp Vanilla Protein Shake Mix. It's a link below if you're trying to save some money. And I'm putting in a little bit of ice to make it cold and fresh. And we're adding in a little bit of water just to fill this thing up. Let's get this to the blender. All right, and look how beautiful this looks. Holy smoke. That looks just like the color of jelly. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. All right, Tim's gonna do a little drizzle of some extra peanut butter on there. Oh yeah, that looks fantastic. And there you have it, our amazing PB&J protein shake. Let's give it a little taste. Oh man, this tastes just like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It is good. Tim, have a taste here. Oh yeah, that is That's fantastic. Those fresh jelly, those fresh berries, they make all the difference. The uh, raspberries come through, so it's worth saving. All right, folks, there you go. Our peanut butter and jelly protein shake. Tastes amazing. You're going to love it. On to the next one. All right, our next shake of the day is a true blue blueberry protein shake. This recipe comes in at 337 calories. Protein, we're at 34 grams. And then total fat, 9.6. All right, we're going to start off with one cup of, we have ripple milk here. Next, I want to add in some blueberries. Uh, this amount is 160 grams. There was a time I had to pick those out of the woods, so it's very nice to have them frozen. Okay, like the PB2 peanut butter, I'm actually using cashew butter, and this has been reconstituted. So it's two tablespoons. All right, and we have spinach. This is one cup, or 30 grams, or like about a handful. And then finally, last but not least, um, this is uh, two scoops of vanilla protein powder. Time for a little ice, a little extra water here. Just looking at this, I'm gonna add a little bit more water. There we go. Everything's covered, let's get blending. Oh man, look how good that looks. Oh, I can't wait to try this one. Let me add a few more blueberries, just to add to the, the excitement there. <laughs> it's very exciting. All right, wait to give it a taste. All right. Oh man, so good. Wow. All right, there you have it. There's our True Blue Blueberry Smoothie. It's a game changer. We absolutely love this. Oh man, I'm loving this video. This is our triple chocolate protein shake. But one chocolate's just not enough. We've got triple. This shake comes in at 400 calories with 33.4 grams of protein and 10.3 grams of fat. Worth every gram. We're gonna start with one cup of pea milk. We're using the ripple here again. One tablespoon of cacao powder or cocoa powder. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. 75 grams of frozen banana. Two scoops of Earth Chimp chocolate protein powder. And I'm gonna add some ice in here and a little bit of water just to bring up the volume and coldness. Now I'm just gonna put the blender cover on and start blending. All right, it looks nice and blended. Now we're gonna put in the rest of the ingredients. I know this sounds crazy, but I'm adding one quarter of a cup of rolled oats and about 15 uh, semi-sweet dark chocolate chips. And I'm just gonna blend that lightly just until I can't see the chips anymore. Just kind of a light blend. And the texture really adds this and takes it up a notch. I don't wanna pulverize it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get it so blended that I can't feel the texture. So let's get it back on the blender again. All right, so right here, you should still see. See how you can see like the graininess there? You can see some of the oats still like not chopped up. I mean, they're blended, but there's still plenty of texture there. That's what we want right there. This is ready to pour. Oh yeah, that looks delish. Holy smoke. For toppings, you can sprinkle on a few more oats. You can try some chips, but they'll probably float to the bottom. Nope, they're looking pretty good. 
And I'm gonna sprinkle on just a little bit of cinnamon on top. Oh, look at that. That is just beautiful. It's time to give this baby a taste. Oh yeah, that's delicious. A triple chocolate protein shake? You're absolutely gonna love this. This is our best peanut butter and vanilla protein shake. And this smoothie comes in at 381 calories. We've got total protein of 37 grams, and then total fat, 9.6 grams. Okay, our battery went dead, so let me tell you where we are. What we currently have in the blender is one cup of plant milk, we're using the Ripple Pea Milk, 100 grams of frozen banana, that's about a whole frozen banana, we use three tablespoons of peanut butter powder reconstituted with water. I like to reconstitute it first. We also put in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We then added two scoops of earth chip vanilla protein powder. And after that, we threw in one tablespoon of flax meal. I'm gonna add some ice to this to bring up the volume. And I'm gonna add some water for the same reason. Then I'm gonna put the blender top on and get this blending. Here we go. All right, this is looking really good. Look how thick and beautiful that is. Holy smoke. All right, I've got some garnish. And a nice little drizzle, what is that, some peanut butter there? That little extra PB2 or PB fit or whatever we're using here. Yeah. And look how good that looks. Holy smoke. And there we have it. Our best peanut butter and vanilla protein shake. Ready to serve, let's give it a taste. Oh man, it's delicious. This is ready to go. It's gonna be one of your favorites. It's one of mine. That is five amazing protein shakes. I don't know which one I like best. Any of them are a good choice. All right, so with a lot of shakes, I have a lot of bags of, like I got the strawberry, but I mean, there's, there's not, there's maybe two scoops in here. The vanilla bag's just empty. Like I got nothing left of vanilla. So, uh, you know, I'll be purchasing some more Earth Gym there. But uh, out of those, like I love all of those smoothies, yeah. right? Um, I, each time I have one, I'm like, this is my favorite smoothie. But now that we have them kind of all together in one day, like, do you have a favorite? It's kind of hard. You know, I, I love, I usually make smoothies with moringa, with some supplements in, right? So, um, so I love the green smoothie, the very first one. But what surprised me was that pea, peanut butter jelly one. That surprised me. It wasn't yeah. too sweet. No. It was, I liked that one, actually. So I'm going to say for, I love and that one. You. I'm gonna guess it's the triple chocolate. You're just a chocolate fan. I know, and I love it, but let me tell you, okay, so I okay. Some, my favorite color one was the blueberry. Oh, yeah. Right? And yeah. when I did the thumbnail for this video, it was absolutely stunning, right? right? Like that whole kind of blueberry I you saying taste. that, that you really like. So amazing. My favorite taste, for sure, was the uh, the chocolate one, of course, because <laughs> I'm a chocolate which really isn't fair of me to say that because I'm gonna like that. But yeah, the PB&J one, Great, I mean, grape jelly is made with Concord grapes, which we didn't use, but for whatever that, that combination had a really jam yeah, taste. Yeah, the raspberry came through oh with sort gosh. of that brightness, and it was nice. It, it was, was absolutely delicious. So those are some of our, our favorite smoothies that we're making now. I want, the goal was to keep them between three and 400 calories, right? Mission accomplished. Yeah, um, you, I mean, I've had protein smoothies before that were like 600 calories, right? And it was also, I also didn't want to throw a banana in every single one because a banana alone is 100 calories, Yeah, right? Exactly, and I think uh, it's great to eat and I use that as a pre-workout, so but, but a shake, I'm not sure if we're getting like all that fiber or something. Yeah, together, I don't, there, there is some banana controversy yes, about shakes. Yes. Dude, it it kind of undoes some of the benefits you get from the shake. I don't care, I love it. And, it, and it's kind of nice too that we're not making shakes in the... Um, the Vitamix? The, yeah, the Vitamix because then we were eating thousand calorie shakes. Yeah, know? we would just fill that thing up. So you saw that we had that portion under control and that was that was nice. Yeah, so. that was all great. All right, another reason we're chimply lucky because some amazing shakes. I want to thank once again Earth Chip for sponsoring this video. That's our video for today. Please hit that like button, show us some love, click on that subscribe button, click on that bell. You get notified every time we have a video, usually every Tuesday. And leave a comment below. All right, did you get any ideas from this? What's your favorite flavor shake? I mean, we have a lot of them, but I mean, we had to keep it down to five for this video, right? Can I share a funny story with you? Sure. So Lex is 100% Italian, but growing up, I wanted him to, to like St. Patty's Day. So I've always told him that he has 1% Irish in him. <laughs> Anyway, and he thinks that now. He thinks he's got one yeah. percent. He's so like I, Tim. Well, how much Irish are you? How did I get one percent? And I'm like, I don't think Tim's Irish. Yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to end with that funny story. Hope it made your day. Uh, we'll talk. We'll, we'll talk see to you later. next time. Bye Thanks. bye. bye.